Hello all, welcome to session 88. In this session, I'm going to practically show you how to use self in Python for accessing the variables and functions inside the same class. So let's get started. First of all, what exactly is this self? As mentioned here, self represents the current instance or object of the class. For example, there is a class, okay? For example, there is a class like this. I'll name this class as car class. Inside this car class, there is a variable known as wheels is equal to four. And also there is a function guys, okay? Inside the same car class, apart from this variable, there is a function known as start car function. Like this, some function is there. Here print, print, car started, some kind of example I'm taking here, okay, car started. So here in this example, this is a car class, diagrammatically I'm representing a class, car class, inside the car class, there's a variable and function. Now, if I am inside the same car class and trying to access this variable and function, do I have to create an object? Do I have to create an object is a question. Okay, in the previous session, I showed you how to create an object. If you're outside the class, then definitely you're trying to create an object for accessing this variable and function. But if you are inside the class, okay, if you are here and trying to access this variable known as wheels and uh, this function known as start car of this car class, here I need to create an object, right? Outside the car class, I need to create an object for accessing the variable and function of this uh, car class. I need to create an object here, then only I can access. But if you are inside the class, okay, here you are outside the class, this is fine. You need to create an object. The answer is yes, here you need to create an object. Since you are outside the class, you have to create an object. But what if you are inside the class, still do you have to create an object? The answer is no. You don't have to create an object if you are trying to access a variable line function of the same class, okay? Inside the same class, you don't have to create object guys. Rather, we are going to use something known as self, okay? For accessing the variable line function, of the same class where we are, we have to use self, okay? For accessing, we have to use self. That's why we are saying self represents the current instance or object of the class. If you are inside the same class, you don't have to create a separate object. Simply we'll use self for accessing the variable line function of the same class we are inside, okay? So now let me practically demonstrate this for you so that it will be more clear for you, okay? I'll open this PyCharm ID where we have this Python file. Here I'll create a here I will create a class using the class keyword and the name of the class I will give as car class colon the car class. Okay, I created the car class inside the car class body. I will create a variable known as wheels. Okay, wheels is equal to four. Done. I will create a function also inside this car class body. I will create a function also def start car. Okay, like start car. Fine. Here I will say print car started done so this is a class and this is a variable and this is a function suppose if i am outside the car class okay if i am here okay so if i am here then that means that i am outside the car class right if i am here means i am outside the car class if i tr if i have to access this variable and function then i have to create an object right if i am outside the car class if i am outside the class and trying to access this variable and function of this class i have to create an object how to create like this, I have to create an object. Car obj is equal to, here I have to say print obj dot. Using the object reference, I have to access this variable and function of this car class, if I am outside the car class. Wheels, okay? And uh, if I have to call this method using the same object reference obg, obj dot start car. Like this, I have to do. But what if I am inside the same class? Here I mean, you see, if I am here means, that means I am inside the same car class body, okay? If I want to access this wheels and variable and function of this uh, car class, when I am inside the same class, do I have to create an object? The answer is no, you don't have to create any object here. Rather, you can use something known as self, okay? Let's say I'll create a function, okay? Print uh, details function. Here, let's say I want to use this uh, variable of this car class. Inside this function, I want to use this. This function is also part of the same class. 
Now here inside this function body, I want to access this wheels. Do I have to create an object inside the function? The answer is no. So how to do that? Print. In order to access this wheels, I don't have to create an object. Rather, I have to use something known as self. Self dot wheels. Okay. Otherwise, I will say the number of, or else simply I will use the same thing, guys. Uh, that is uh, self dot wheels. Okay. Like this, I have to use. You see, no error is coming. What if I directly try to access this wheels without using self? You see, immediately you are going to get an error. Okay. In order to access this wheels, variable which is there inside this car class even though this function is inside the same class you cannot directly access like this in order to access this we have to use the current instance of this car class what is the current instance current instance or object what is that current instance nothing but self by default it is self case you see this function is having self so we have to use self dot wheels then we can access not only we can access the variable using the self okay from the same class but also i can call this start car okay i can call this uh, function also from this function which is there inside the same class if i have to access this access or call this particular start car function i cannot directly call like this okay start underscore car this is not correct you'll get an error okay we have to use the current instance for accessing this because we are inside the same class we have to use the current instance you don't have to create a separate object for this simply say self dot start car that's it okay self dot start car that's it you see if you are accessing this variable and function from the same class okay this function is inside the same class if i am trying to access the variable and function from the same class then i have to use which object reference i do I have to create a separate object no simply will use self self is the current instance or object of the class okay fine like this guys now let's see whether this thing is working or not okay i want to I want to call this uh, method, okay? From outside the class, I want to call this method. I mean function, okay? Print details function, I want to call. So for that, in order to call this function from this car class, I need to create an object for the car class if, because I am outside the car class now, okay? Car like this, okay? And uh, refer, uh, assign this uh, created object to a object reference, okay? You can give any name here, I gave obj, okay? obj object kind of thing. Now I want to call this print details, obj dot, print details sorry obj dot print details like this okay so so now using this uh, object created outside the car class i am calling this print details when i call this print details what will happen first it will print self dot wheels four should be printed after that it will call this function start car function car started should be printed in the output you should get the output as four and car started let's see okay if this is going to work if this self is going to work it should print four and this should print car started okay because this function is calling this function fine right click run it you see four and car started got printed so hope guys you understood how to use self in python for accessing the variables and functions inside the same class from the same class itself so that's it guys see you in the next video session thank you bye